let us go ahead and take some more examples now this example what i'm showing you you need not write because it is given in your textbooks the same example the same way just focus on understanding the matter suppose the term of a contract is 10 years and the non cancellable or the lock in period is 6 years the lease term shall be as follows if the termination option is with lesser the lease term shall be 10 years now why 10 years simply because the contract contains the lease term of 10 years where lock in period is 6 years and the termination option is with the lesser that means only when the lesser wants the lesser will terminate therefore after 6 years what if the lesser does not terminate the lessee will be bound to make the payments further so the conclusion what we can write with reason is that the lease term shall be 10 years because even after 6th year lessee would be contractually bound until 10th year that is lessee cannot refuse to make the payment till expiry of the contract and also has the right to use the asset until 10th year unless lesser terminates the contract so friends as i told you you need not write this example this is given in your textbook already so let us proceed ahead and take the other possibility the other possibility could be if the termination option is with the lessee in this case also the lease term shall be 10 years because if the lessee holds the option to terminate we can just make an assumption that at the commencement of the lease the lessee is not going to exercise the option of termination instead we can say the lessee is assumed to use the option of extension beyond 6 years so we can say because after expiry of 6th year though the lessee is not contractually bound till 10th year but it is assumed that the lessee is reasonably certain that it will not exercise this option to terminate hence though there is no enforceable obligation from lessee's point of view beyond 6th year but basis the said assumption the lease term shall be 10 years now in both the possibilities we have seen that the lease term will be 10 years only that means when one of the party is having right to decide whether to terminate or not it will be considered as 10 years now look into the other possibility if termination option is with both that is any party can terminate any party can terminate or cancel the contract so obviously after 6 years the parties will have right to terminate because 6 years is considered in this example as the lock in period so in this case the lease term shall be 6 years because after 6th year either party can terminate the contract without the consent of the other party and hence the contract is not enforceable after 6th year all right friends after understanding this example let us now also understand a very important term cancellable leases now friends understanding this term cancellable lease could be extremely simple if you can recall the example that we have just discussed in that example we had three different situations correct one was where only the lesser has the choice to cancel the contract after 6 years or when the lessee has a choice to cancel the contract after 6 years and third situation where both the parties have rights to cancel the contract after 6 years so friends the moment you look into a lease contract and you find that there is inclusion of a non cancellable period that non cancellable period will be part of the lease term without doubts it is all about the later period should it be considered or not for this purpose understanding what is a cancellable lease is important so let me just give you back that example lease term is 10 years and after the initial 6 years parties have right to cancel the contract that means the contract becomes cancellable after 6 years in other words the non cancellable period will be the initial 6 years correct now the later 4 years should it be included or not 
that is what we have even discussed in that earlier example so assume a situation where both the parties have right to cancel the contract after 6 years i am lessy there is a party who is lesser after 6 years if i don't want to continue i will simply terminate if the lesser does not want to continue lesser would simply come and say boss please vacate my premises i don't want to continue with the lease if both the parties have this choice available then the lease is considered to be cancelable after 6 years then the lease term will not be anything more than 6 years let us try to discuss this concept with little more details so we are talking about cancelable lease assume that both the parties in the lease have rights to cancel the contract without paying a significant amount of penalty of course if someone is cancelling the contract the contract may include a penalty clause or it may not include so if both the parties have right to cancel and either there is no penalty or insignificant amount of penalty then we can say that the lease is cancelable after that period so the cancelable lease after the expiry of non cancelable period there is no certainty whether lease will prevail or not in such case the cancelable part of the lease will not be considered now if both the parties have right to cancel the contract we will not include the cancelable part that means we will not include the period after the completion of non cancelable period that means in that example if i repeat only the initial 6 years shall be considered so friends you should understand one thing only when one of the party has a right to decide whether the lease should continue or not then there may be a point suppose i change the example it is the lessee who has the sole right to decide whether the lease should be continued or not in that case the lessee will have to take a decision at the commencement date based on the reasonable certainty that the lessee has correct so if the lessee has a reasonable certainty that the lessee will not cancel the contract and continue with the lease then the lease term will be 10 years if the lessee has a reasonable certainty to cancel the contract after 6 years the lease term will be only 6 years but this reasonable certainty in the hands of lessee makes sense only when the lessee has right to decide if both the parties have right to decide then the contract cannot be considered as enforceable after the end of 6 years therefore friends whatever we have discussed we need to carefully note it down and then lease term has to be always understood with this point of cancelable leases based on what we have discussed about cancelable leases we can say in determining the lease term and assessing the length of the non cancelable period of a lease an entity shall determine the period for which the contract is enforceable an arrangement is not enforceable if both the lesser and lessee each have the right to terminate the lease without permission from the other party and with no more than an insignificant penalty that means if both of these conditions exist we can say that the arrangement is not enforceable however if only the lessee holds a renewal option or a termination option there may be other factors to consider for determining whether the lessee is reasonably certain to extend or terminate the lease so friends do one thing write up this whole matter and then we shall move ahead all right friends after writing up these notes and understanding what is all about cancelable leases let us discuss next very important concept that is reassessment of lease term and purchase options for the lessees now friends consider a possibility that something that was reasonably certain to happen at the commencement date where there was some reasonable certainty at a later date that reasonable certainty may not exist for example 
सपोज आई हैव टेकन अ प्रेमाइस अंडर लीज एंड दैट लीज इज अ पीरियड ऑफ फाइव इयर्स वेर द लेसी हैज एक्सटेंशन ऑप्शन अवेलेबल फॉर अनदर फाइव इयर्स एंड बेस्ड ऑन द फैक्ट एंड सर्कमस्टांसिस एट द कमेंसमेंट डेट माई सेल्फ बींग लेसी I am reasonably certain that I will exercise that extension option. So in that case I will consider the lease as if it is a period of 10 years. However, after a certain period anything can happen. For example, imagine there can be a downfall in the lessee's business and lessee is not able to afford the rentals of that premises. Do you think lessee will exercise the option of extension? Obviously not. in that case lease term earlier was assessed as 10 years later on the lease term will be restricted to the non cancellable period only that means something that was reasonably certain at the commencement date later on the possibilities can change likewise suppose there is a termination option extension option available in the lease contract and the lessee has reasonable certainty to either exercise or not exercise such options lease term at the commencement date whatever you have defined could be different at the later dates that means the lease term can alter therefore in days 116 requires the lessee has to reassess the lease term whenever there is a significant event occurring or a significant change that is happening let me give you more examples so that you can understand better suppose i have taken a premises on lease and the lease is of 5 years and the non cancellable part of the lease is the initial 3 years only myself as a lessee i was not certain to continue after 3 years it was offered by the lesser that you take the premises for 5 years i said i don't want it for 5 years i want only for 3 years the agreement was still drafted for 5 years and supplier of the asset says boss what is the problem that you have you can leave the property after 3 years you don't have any trouble i am giving you choice of leaving the property after 3 years let us terminate the lease after 3 years if the lessee chooses the option to terminate and i was very clear i don't want to exercise that option now what happens after certain time owing to the development in my business i have spent more and more on the interiors of that office now what will happen i can be benefited for those spendings on interiors only if i continue for a substantial period because whatever expenditure i have incurred on that interior i cannot take away those interiors with me because it will not have any value but it has caused substantial cost from my pocket now if i want to take complete advantage of the money that i have spent i should extend the lease term and i should go for that extension of 2 years so earlier i had no reasonable certainty of continuing beyond 3 years i have considered the lease term only as 3 years later on i will reassess the lease term from 3 years to 5 years and therefore while i am accounting for leases this reassessment can completely change the scenario that means there will be change that will be required in the asset and liability component which are related to the lease so friends regarding reassessment of lease term and purchase options for the lessees we can say that after the lease commencement indias 116 requires lessees to monitor leases for significant changes that could trigger a change in the lease term lessees are required to reassess the lease term upon the occurrence of either a significant event or a significant change in the circumstances that is within the control of the lessee or that affects whether the lessee is reasonably certain to exercise or not to exercise renewal termination and or purchase option not previously included in its determination of the lease term so friends i want you to carefully note down these points and then we shall move ahead
all right friends you would have finished writing this whole thing let us now go ahead and write up some examples in relation to this examples of significant events or significant changes in circumstances within the lessee's control first constructing significant leasehold improvements that are expected to have significant economic value for the lessee when the option becomes exercisable second making significant modifications or customizations to the underlying asset third making a business decision that is directly relevant to the lessee's ability to exercise or not to exercise an option and fourth and last point could be subleasing the underlying asset for a period beyond the exercise date of the option and in all these examples you will find that the lessee's decision about the lease term may undergo a change so as we have discussed that this concept is precisely for the lessee the lesser simply has to alter the lease term in accordance with the lessee's decision so friends i want you to write up all these points of examples and then we shall move ahead